Hello, I'm Scott Vordum. That React OS live stream I've been talking about for quite a while now is going to be happening tomorrow, the 26th of March. If you don't know what React OS is, it's a basic it's basically a built from scratch Windows-based operating system. And yes, it is legal because it doesn't use any original Windows source code. They're trying to be they are they are being very careful of who they pick to help with the project. They don't even they don't want people who's even taking a peek at Windows source code because apparently because if you research it has been leaked <laughs> quite a bit. <laughs> they don't even want people who's even glanced at that. I have no idea how well this is going to go. I never know how a live stream is going to go. If it goes horribly, it goes horribly. If it goes good, it goes good. I don't really have much control over how good a live stream goes most of the time, but in this case, I'll have more control than usual. It's not gaming. It's Showcase, it's showing off an operating system that I genuinely like and want to see successful because think about it, it's Windows but open source and you can add features that either Microsoft has taken away or refused to add and I have, I have been keeping an eye on it but not a close eye on it so I have no idea what's been changed, fixed or even added but I checked recently and there's even a 64-bit version now. Usually, it was usually just 32-bit, but 64-bit. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I saw X64 somewhere. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. I'm not sure if I just should just if I just go ahead and install it and have it ready for the live stream, or show you guys the entire installation process because it's pretty because it's pretty ridiculous on how to install it because. To my knowledge, as I experimented with it, um, it doesn't have proper USB support yet. So using something like Rufus or Rufus, how you pronounce it, probably Rufus, um, won't work with it because it lacks the USB drivers to be able to use that method. It has its own method called RAM booting, which you can actually still use on a USB flash drive. It's just a bit more complicated to use, but I'll be using that method to install it. And I probably won't show that on the live stream. I'll probably just have it ready as it's a bit complicated. And I honestly forget how to do it. So I need to do research again on how to do it again. Most likely, you might see that or not. I'm not 100% sure. And I'm going to be going back and forth between computers a lot because the computer I'm going to install React OS on, it's going to be installed on real hardware, by the way, is going to be my really old laptop <laughs> that I have, that I literally just have lying around collecting dust. So. Hopefully it still works. It's batteries being a little funky, but still works plugged in. So yeah, you have that to look forward to and hopefully I'll be able to do it this Thursday. It's not guaranteed that I can. I'm going to try to schedule it and I'll try to start sometime this afternoon. Whatever I schedule it for will be the time we'll be starting. And because I'm going to be going back and forth between this computer and that computer, I'm going to use my lapel mic. So I'm going to have a wireless mic attached to me. Probably not. It's not gonna sound. It's not gonna have the best connection, mind you, but it should be good enough for you to understand what I'm saying. So, with that being said, I will see you in React OS. See you then.